I spent the weekend refreshing for updates on our, our favorite interstellar visitor, that comet or question mark 3i Atlas. Uh, it is up to a little bit more strangeness. Now, last week, we told you that 3i Atlas was getting way brighter, way bluer as it got close to the sun. Well, now there is a new report from NASA that shows that 3i Atlas might be picking up a little speed in, quote, non-gravitational acceleration. But before we jump to any of those conclusions, let's go straight to the store. You know, we, we will continue to push for answers. Hopefully, Kim Kardashian will continue to push for answers, and, and hopefully uh, you'll get your answers sometime soon. Professor Avi Loeb, thank you so very much. Uh, Kim Kardashian. Kardashian asked the question about 3i Atlas and directed it to the acting administrator of NASA, uh, Sean Duffy, and he immediately tweeted the reply in which he explained 3i uh, Atlas and so forth. But on the same day, uh, Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna uh, sent a letter to uh, Sean Duffy asking NASA to release this data that is being held for over a month. No response so far. When I approached the principal investigator of High Rise, no response. It doesn't make much sense for uh, the, polit the politics of the day to sabotage the progress of science. We need this data in order to plan future observations of the object. NASA's acting administrator, Sean Duffy, has been silent on requests to release the high-rise images of interstellar object 3i slash ATLS, captured when it passed close to Mars on October 2nd. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter could have easily photographed it. High-rise can spot one-meter details from orbit. Yet when Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and even a member of Congress asked for those images, there was no response. But when Kim Kardashian publicly mentioned it, NASA replied almost immediately. So if NASA says there's nothing to hide, then why are the images still unreleased? On October 29, 2025, as 3i Atlas made its closest pass to the sun, every major solar observatory was watching. Within hours, the data stopped behaving as expected. The interstellar object brightened suddenly, far beyond the smooth increase predicted by thermal models, and its trajectory began to drift in ways gravity alone could not explain. Then came an even stranger development. The object turned bluer than the sun, a color change no known comet has ever shown. And just as the evidence began to build, NASA went quiet. No new images, no official explanation, and no release of the high-resolution data that should have followed. Now scientists and observers are left in an uncomfortable position. Did 3i Atlas experience a violent explosion as it swung around the sun? Or did something more complex and potentially unprecedented unfold out of public view? The object's sudden transformation, paired with NASA's silence, has ignited growing suspicion that the agency may be withholding information about what really happened near perihelion. For weeks leading up to that day, astronomers had tracked 3i Atlas as it approached the inner solar system. It was the third confirmed interstellar visitor after Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. But unlike those two, this one was behaving erratically even before it reached the sun. Early photometric data from ground-based observatories suggested subtle fluctuations in brightness, inconsistent with a simple spinning body. Spectroscopic readings indicated the presence of volatiles, compounds that vaporize easily, yet not in the quantities typical for active comets. By late October, telescopes from Chile to Hawaii to Spain were coordinated in a global observation campaign. The object was small, just a few hundred meters across, but highly reflective. As it neared perihelion, its brightness surged at a rate that made scientists uneasy. Instead of following the expected curve of roughly distance to the power of minus 2 or minus 4, it climbed at an astonishing minus 7.5 exponent. That meant it was brightening much faster than sunlight alone could explain, as if its surface were suddenly shedding energy or releasing material in bursts. Then came the color shift. Instruments calibrated against solar spectra showed 3i Atlas turning measurably bluer than the sun.
Normally, comets become redder as they approach perihelion, their dust scattering longer wavelengths of light. Blue means something else, perhaps a plume of ionized gas or sublimation of materials rarely seen in comets, such as carbon monoxide or molecular nitrogen. But the intensity of the change was baffling. Either the surface chemistry had transformed in a matter of hours, or something catastrophic had ripped through the outer layers. NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, as did Stereo A and GOES-19, their data confirmed what the ground telescopes were seeing, a sudden flare of brightness followed by a measurable change in motion. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory ran the orbital data and found a deviation, a small but significant acceleration both away from the Sun and sideways along the orbital path. That could only mean one thing. A non-gravitational force was acting on the object. In normal circumstances, outgassing explains such effects. As sunlight heats volatile ices, they vaporize, escaping into space and pushing the nucleus in the opposite direction, like a natural rocket engine. But when astrophysicist Avi Loeb and his team calculated how much material would be required to create the observed push, the result was staggering. 3i Atlas would have had to lose around one-sixth of its total mass during the encounter, over five billion tons of gas and dust ejected in mere weeks. If that had really happened, there should have been an enormous cloud of debris expanding outward, glowing as sunlight scattered through it. Yet no such cloud has been detected. Even the most sensitive instruments have found no dust tail, no extended halo, nothing that fits the physics of a massive outburst. That absence is critical. If the acceleration was not caused by outgassing, something else, something still unidentified, was responsible. As soon as these anomalies appeared, NASA's updates stopped. Observatories affiliated with the agency went silent, citing data verification protocols. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which reportedly imaged 3i Atlas during its early approach in October, has not released its high-resolution photographs. The high-rise camera on board could have captured the object at 30 kilometers per pixel, enough to reveal its shape, its brightness distribution, even possible fragmentation. But nothing has been published. The official explanation is bureaucratic. The data release was delayed due to a government shutdown and review backlog. Yet the timing feels off. For an event this rare, only the third known interstellar visitor, and the first seen to behave this dramatically, the silence has been conspicuous. Researchers like Loeb have publicly urged NASA to release its findings, arguing that transparency is essential to scientific integrity. The data belong to humanity, not to an institution. Behind the scenes, debate has fractured the astronomical community. One group argues for patience, noting that calibrating instruments and processing solar proximity data takes time. The other side sees a pattern, first with Oumuamua's unexplained acceleration, now with 3i Atlas. In both cases, the official narrative leans toward natural explanations, even as the evidence grows harder to fit within them. The most widely discussed hypothesis for 3i Atlas's strange brightening involves layered composition. Some scientists suggest the object carried a crust of carbon dioxide ice, volatile enough to sublimate at lower temperatures than water. As it approached the sun, this outer shell could have acted as a shield, insulating the interior. Then at perihelion, the CO2 layer suddenly evaporated, exposing fresh water ice beneath and triggering a runaway reaction of sublimation. The rapid flare and brightness would then represent the moment that protective shell burned off. It's an elegant idea, and it explains the timing of the surge, but it also demands a structure unlike any comet we've seen before. A perfectly layered, radiation-hardened body with preserved volatile layers that somehow survived billions of years in interstellar space. That kind of preservation would require a formation environment colder and more stable than any known planetary system. If true, it means 3i Atlas originated around a star very different from the Sun, a place where chemistry froze in deep time. Adding to the mystery, the James Webb Space Telescope had already observed 3i Atlas in August, months before perihelion. Its infrared instruments found that the surface was heavily processed by cosmic radiation, forming a crust nearly 20 meters thick. 
that crust should have limited activity, keeping the comet dim and inert. Instead, it erupted. The contrast between expectation and reality could not be sharper. While telescopes studied from afar, the European Space Agency's JUICE spacecraft, the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, had stumbled into a vantage point no Earth-based observatory could match. In early November, JUICE crossed a region of space that allowed it to view 3i Atlas from an oblique angle, looking directly into the solar wake of the interstellar object just after its perihelion pass. From that position, the spacecraft could observe the aftermath that ground telescopes could only infer whether fragments trailed behind it, whether vapor still vented from its surface, and whether the light fluctuations followed any pattern. For a brief window of several days, JUICE became humanity's closest witness to the most mysterious object in the solar system. Its visible light cameras tracked brightness variations in morphology, while its infrared spectrometers searched for temperature gradients and emission lines that could identify volatile compounds or glowing debris. The submillimeter wave detectors could sense thermal emissions invisible to optical instruments, revealing whether gas was expanding from the object or if its surface had gone cold and inert. Even the particle sensors, designed to study Jupiter's magnetosphere, were repurposed to detect dust and charged particles that might be escaping from 3i Atlas's coma. The data JUICE collected could hold the answers to every open question. Was there a massive cloud of vaporized ice, proving the natural outgassing hypothesis? Or was there an absence of debris, an unnerving confirmation that something other than sublimation had produced the non-gravitational acceleration? Unfortunately, because JUICE was so close to the Sun during this alignment, it had to reorient its main antenna as a heat shield. That maneuver protected the spacecraft's systems, but temporarily cut off high bandwidth communication with Earth. For now, the priceless observations are stored on board, sealed in digital memory, awaiting download when JUICE re-establishes a safe communications geometry in February 2026. That delay has become its own source of intrigue. Scientists and enthusiasts alike are left wondering what those instruments recorded during the most critical days of the encounter. Did JUICE witness an explosion? Did it detect active jets or a structured pattern of emissions? Or did it capture something so unexpected that even the engineers aren't yet sure how to interpret it? Until the transmission resumes, those questions hang in the silence between worlds. Meanwhile, another story was unfolding closer to home. The International Asteroid Warning Network, IWAN, a consortium formed to coordinate global responses to near-Earth threats, did something it had never done before. It targeted an interstellar object for active monitoring. The campaign, announced in late October, called for simultaneous observations from over 60 observatories across the world, running from late November through January. The official purpose was simple, to practice tracking a fast-moving object with unusual orbital parameters, the kind that doesn't obey the familiar arcs of solar system asteroids. But the timing was curious. Just three weeks earlier, Avi Loeb had submitted a white paper to the United Nations, co-authored with physicists Omar Eliadi and Jershon Tenenbaum. The paper urged the creation of a global network to monitor interstellar objects not merely as scientific curiosities, but as potential technological artifacts. These visitors, it argued, could pose not only a physical risk, but a scientific one, a missed opportunity to detect evidence of extraterrestrial technology. The recommendation was clear, maximize coverage, share data freely, and respond quickly to any anomalies. The next critical moment comes in December, when 3i Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth at 267 million kilometers. Telescopes across the world will search for the missing debris cloud. If the cloud appears, the case is closed. The object erupted naturally, an extreme but understandable cometary event. If not, if the space around it remains clean, then the non-gravitational acceleration has no conventional explanation. Loeb has called this the gas cloud test. It's a simple, decisive experiment. Either the evidence of mass loss is visible, or it isn't. The memory of Oumuamua looms large. That first interstellar object also accelerated without visible exhaust, sparking years of debate. Many dismissed the anomaly citing exotic ice or dust too faint to detect, but the argument feels thinner this time. 3i Atlas has been tracked continuously with far more sensitive instruments, and still there's no sign of the debris that should accompany such force. 
If both objects display the same pattern, sudden acceleration without measurable outgassing, it could mean that interstellar space is filled with fragments of a kind we've never cataloged. Or it could mean something else entirely, that some of these objects were made, not born. Even among cautious scientists, the discussion has shifted from disbelief to curiosity. The idea that 3i Atlas might be artificial, a long dormant probe or a fragment of technology from an extinct civilization, was once fringe. Now it's a question that respectable researchers are testing empirically. If the data support it, they'll publish it. If not, it will remain an odd but natural mystery. Either way, it must be tested. For now, what we know is limited, but clear. 3i Atlas brightened faster than any comet in memory, bluer than the sun, deviated from its orbit, and produced no visible dust. NASA's silence has only amplified the enigma. Perhaps the agency is being cautious, ensuring that the data are reliable before release, or perhaps what they've seen doesn't fit the story they're ready to tell. In December, the object will pass into clearer view, in January, the alignment of the inner planets will create ideal geometry for further measurements, and by February, when JUICE transmits its recordings, the world may finally see what happened near the Sun, whether 3i Atlas exploded, fragmented, or did something entirely unprecedented. Until then, we wait. The mystery of 3i Atlas sits at the crossroads of science and secrecy. A reminder that space still holds surprises even our best instruments can't easily explain. Whether it was a violent outburst of ice and gas, or a glimpse of something engineered long ago, the truth is still hidden in the data. And that may be the most unsettling part. The event is over, but the silence remains. An interstellar traveler passed through our solar system, flared like a signal and vanished into the dark, leaving behind questions that no one seems eager to answer.